Morning Lantern, so it is officially Halloween over in Bleach Brave Souls. We did have a whole situation yesterday with the Halloween mid-run banner with Momo and Oz Toshiro getting delayed. Only by 24 hours, it's already in game right now. For those that missed it, it was because Toshiro's SA3 wasn't working as intended. Him being a ranged character with a melee SA3 kind of made the character bad. But now that they have fixed it, Toshiro's actually really solid, especially for the current guild quest. The banner itself is okay at best. But we are going to be doing two cheeky discounts. Because I did say, if they fix Toshiro's SA3, I'm going to summon. Because at that point, it's worth it for the two new characters. You know, Momo is a plus 10 link character. Toshiro for a mid-month character is actually really good. One of the better speed characters in the game now. And at the same time, when it comes to the fillers, I wouldn't mind getting a dupe of Renji. And I wouldn't mind picking up Aizen. I don't own him. This, of course, is a crown step-up banner. So step one and two are discounted. And then step three is a guaranteed five-star pool. Now, I'm not going to do the third step on my main account. We're just going to test our luck on the two steps on the discounts and the main reason for that is because this banner in particular is here until the end of the month on the 27th we are going to get the reveal of what the end of month banner will be and if end of month doesn't interest me then i'll do the third step but in case end of month is something exciting potentially thousand year blood war even if it is only 250 orbs i do want to have that saved for that particular banner so with that said let's test our luck happy halloween lads let's jump into it we're two weeks ahead of time let's do it what we're we gonna get on the very first step i haven't actually pulled on a crown step up banner last month for example which was also again the really good step up format i didn't even do the first discount because the characters for me it just weren't worth it this time it's a bit different and unfortunately we got a four star that's not what you want to see hopefully we do get a, a five star here right you don't want to do the worst thing that could happen to you is do the two discounts and you get nothing and it might just happen to us potential here boys i don't think so ah uh, man that sucks. I hate when that happens. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, that, I, I feel terrible right now. I feel terrible. I still have over 7,500 orbs, but damn, it sucks to see 300 orbs go down the drain on not even a 5-star. Even if it was a duplicate. Even if it was an unfeatured, I would have taken it. At least I would have got some transcendence points. In this case, we just got a whole lot of 9. Alright then, so hopping over to the altar camp. In all honesty, if one account was to get lucky, I'd rather it be this account. Many with Toshiro. This account can't be the very hard guild quest. The range Quincy Stemmer to one in particular, and picking up Toshiro would be a massive buff to this account, at least in my opinion. If I don't get him, it's not that big of a deal, but we definitely are going to do three steps here, because there's more value to be had here on this particular account over my main. Going into step number one, though, we are just getting super... Super unlucky. Yet to see a 5-star on a 6% pull rate, lads, in free multis. That absolutely sucks to see. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, step number 4. Sorry, multi number 4. I right, can give us something, right? There we go. Finally. Let's see Toshiro. Toshiro, your dog. Come on. Who? Who? Okay. That's not what we want. <laughs> Honestly, this isn't that bad. I'm pretty sure I don't own her. She might be a decent link. I can't remember. I think she's a nad and, like, a status element duration. We'll keep tapping through. There might be a 2 and 1 here. This unironically might be better than some other characters that I could have pulled as a filler. This account, again, is still somewhat new. It's free to play. I don't really get many chances or opportunities to pull for some really old seasonal characters. So getting it unfeatured like this, for example, really isn't that bad. That's 200 orbs right there. We'll take it. The multi at this point basically paid for itself. But come on, let's do it. This is my first time doing step three on this particular banner. If I can somehow walk with a banner character in three steps on a guarantee, that would be really cool. Let's see what we're going to get on our guaranteed, guaranteed feature. That's going to be Rangiku. That's not what you want to see. That's really not what you want to see. I'm not going to lie. I don't mind Rangiku. This one, though, not really much of a fan of it. Let's tap through them. Potential 2 and 1, right? 6%. Kiamon. Please tell me I can get a featured 5 star outside of the guarantee, right? You would love to think so. In, in 5 multis? Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. That's, that's Momo, right? I didn't actually... Aye, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I would have preferred Toaster if I'm being honest, but we'll take it. We'll take it. All right. You know what? It didn't end how I wanted it to. I wanted to get Toshiro, but Momo's still actually really good. She's a plus 10 Link Soul character. I can easily make use of that on both my main and also old account, which is this account right now, right? Again, when I'm farming co-op content, my old account always joins. And now with Momo, I'm getting 10 extra Link Soul potions. And at the same time, for those that are wondering, because I'm pretty sure I do have it, right? Yeah, so I have a Sun Sun 2. So that right there is 15 Link Soul potions. That's not really too bad. Honestly, a banner character in three steps is actually really cool. It didn't come from the guarantee. We actually got lucky there, but I will gladly take it. Unfortunately, though, as a free-to-play, it kind of sucks to be on 147 orbs, but I don't plan to summon or anything that I really need to anytime soon. End the month, I'm probably going to skip because I plan to go all in on my main account, depending
depending what it actually is. But I do have a couple five stars here that I need to work on, get some extra orbs from these characters, right? I have a lot to do here. I have a bunch of story, a bunch of sub stories. I can easily gather up maybe close to 10,000 orbs. At least maybe in time for end of year, which is hopefully, probably when I'm going to next summon on this particular account. So yeah, with that said, lads, that was the video for today. Just doing some shaky summons on the Halloween banner. Unfortunately, it didn't get lucky on my main account, but at least we walked away with something on my alt account. Glad to take that. Again, for those that are wondering if the banner is worth summoning for, I think it is still an easy skip. Doing the discounts, depending on your orb count, doesn't always hurt you. My main account kind of hurt me because we got shafted, but in my opinion, these mid mom cards are good. The stepper format's good, so it's not really too bad. At least in my case, on doing just a few steps on the banner. Going to the guarantee in this case was actually kind of good. Hope you liked and enjoyed the video, though. If anyone did summon on this banner, it is officially out right now, right? Only a 24-hour delay. Let me know how your summons went. I'm curious to know what you guys got, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and peace.